building that we're building right now, we finally got brave and we're using Boswell, which we thought about on a previous building, but uh, we had to make that leap of faith to go away from what's a more traditional material. We're so happy that we did this. Um, this product and, uh, has features that really work for our situation. It's, we're in an area where fire is a danger and it's very safe in that regard. It's, you know, it's wood pellets that are ground up and coated with concrete, so it's not something that's going to burn down. And then we've got uh, problems here with rodents and ants and things like that, and this product is very good for that, whereas wood is really a kind of a battle for us. In our situation in particular, we don't kill living beings, so when we have problems with carpenter ants, we are really working hard and not really winning the battle on that too well. And then the other main reason we chose this product, uh, it's a green product, and, and it's one that is very durable. It's going to last hundreds of years, and most building projects, people think about 30 years. It's very difficult to get people to think beyond 30 years. Um, and then the other factor is the thermal mass is important, and then uh, the insulation value. Just the way this wall comes together, it's like one monolithic wall, so it's very strong, but it's also something that is like seamless, so you don't have the problem with air coming in. And so it's R value is a, I would say more of a true R value in my mind. This building is going to be the largest building that we build, and its function is going to be like the greeting place for our Abbey. And it's a very challenging building for an architect because it has many different functions in it. Uh, but we'll have, uh, we're going to build a kitchen and a dining room that will be larger than what we have now. We'll have a, a little chapel and a media room and things like that, and some place for residents and guests to stay. So it has very many different functions, but one of the main purposes is, is the area where people will first come. So the very first room they'll go into, we're going to have a beautiful statue, try to set the tone for the, both the building and, and the location coming to an abbey. The name of this building is Chinrazi Hall. And Chinrazi in the uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhist tradition that's existed in other Buddhist traditions, in that tradition the word stands for the Buddha of Compassion. So it's a very welcoming figure of a, a Buddha with a thousand arms welcoming all